Yeah. Okay, we're now going to drill into more specific activities. Uh, like, uh, we've got TAC uh, 87 November Victor, and we'll be talking about APRS, uh, which is the acronym for uh, Automatic Packet Reporting System. Anyway, so, check it out. TAC is uh, a very experienced background. He has spoken for Vector as well as uh, our club. So anyways, Tack, you can introduce yourself. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, Tack, Luther, VE7, and the Vendor of 7 will never make so I'll just wait until uh, everyone kind of settles down and we'll kind of get started. And then we'll go from there. Oh. Everyone had a good lunch? Even though it wasn't raining out there, it's pretty. That first was good. That's like when the guys at the back are over here. Jordan mess or not. But... Well, <laughs> there you go. You buy your tickets, ready to win? Uh -oh. All right. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. All right, cool. So anyways, real quickly, I guess, I don't know, I guess a lot of you guys are hands, and which one aren't, I guess, you know, let's get a show of hands who are not uh, licensed amateur you are you not not, not, not licensed. licensed not licensed no I am licensed so everyone's licensed no. you're not licensed yet yeah okay no, that's cool I just I just want to try to gauge how much how deep I'm going to go into this um, topic but I want to still start at the beginning anyways because we can save the technical stuff towards the end we can ask all the difficult questions but anyways uh, yeah I'll go ahead and just uh, have to start on this thing. Oh. All right, I guess just a little bit about myself, a little background. Got into radio back in uh, 1987, of course, uh, many of you know, I don't know, CB radio. Probably not walkie talkie there, but anyways, yeah, back in 87 and then um, got my advanced amateur radio license in 89 because uh, I like dabbling with uh, radio was kind of what I interested in, mainly with, you know, RC cars. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, walkie talkies and stuff back in the day, that was kind of what, uh, you know, got my interest. And I built my first the auto patch back in 1990. So for those who don't know what an auto patch is, this is all before cell phones and internet. So auto patch is a way to bridge the radio to the telephone line. So back in the day, this is when I was just finishing high school, I was able to uh, build a yeah, device where I could press and touch home. Uh, you know, some touch tone uh, keys on a, on a handheld, I could bring up a dial tone that was connected to the you know, landline so I can start making phone calls. And this is again all before cell phones came out. So yeah, I did that and uh, you know, got quite a bit of attention from that piece. And went to BCIT, took my telecommunication technologist uh, course there, 1994. And then after that, of course, that was when, of course, cell phones came in, everything was starting to get cheap, and, uh, you know, internet started coming in, so I, you know, of course, that took over everything and got out of it. So, yeah, back in the ham, back in 2006, of course, I was out of the country, so back in 2006, uh, got back into it when technology changed, a lot of stuff was, new, new stuff was introduced, of course, even new to me, APRS, of course, being one of them. So, kind of got my interest, because APRS, back in the day, was really crude, it was all back in DOS, and it was not really that big, so. Then I'm uh, also a radio examiner for Industry Canada since 2013, so I have all my uh, qualifications, sports code, all that good deal there, to, uh, so, uh, yeah, hit that as well. Alright. Okay, so we're going to jump into what's, uh, what is APRS, I guess, quick uh, introduction terminology, how it works, how it's used, and uh, a little about the software, and then we'll get to the demonstration. So, won't spend too much time. It's, it's really geared towards right now, just uh, people who are just wanting or interested in getting into it. It's, I'm not going to get into too technical because I don't want to you know, lose your guys' attention. But yeah, just quickly show yourself. And feel free to jump in. Any questions you have, you know, it's not really just one way, so it, you know, interrupt me any time if you have any questions. So, what is APRS? Well, it's a real-time, I guess, digital communication protocol. So, for exchanging information, you know, large numbers 
stations covering the area. So one way to put it is, you know, we, we talk in over the air and then of course one person's talking and you know many's listening, but sometimes it's hard to get that information across or you know yeah, it might be you know interference and stuff like that that might get in the way. So one one way to uh, you know, get that information out is uh, send it through a, uh, a messaging system that they designed that allows to get that information across to multiple people through a digital form so you can actually read it. You don't have to be physically present to, to be at your station to listen to it. So, uh, and then, yeah, and then amateur radio, it's, uh, it's based on, a, of course, amateur radio system uses a multi user data network. So that means multiple people can uh, communicate back and forth. It's not just a one station transmitting and maybe listening, it's also receiving stations can also transmit as well. And the systems use, I'm not going to get too uh, deep into it right now, but you can ask later. The, the protocol is the AX25, which allows for the, uh, the exchange of you know, messaging through, a, uh, through, this, uh, through the, uh, I guess, the packet the network there. And the protocol was designed and optimized for short distance. So, what that means is really. Um, going back, it's really a system designed to send information in your local, you know, coverage area. So, you know, within your own community, your own town, just within the city. So, it's not designed to be like transmitted over the air to be sent like HF, you know, across countries and stuff like that. It's tactical information it's that you need to know now within, you know, within your own city kind of thing. So, and um, yeah, packet radio tracks real time events. So that's one of the things. So. An uh, example of that that's being used is the uh, you know celebration of lights, the sunrise, stuff like that, which uh, 